Do you ever feel like your mind is a wild horse, running out of control? If so, then this video is for you. In this video, I will share a story about a young man who was able to train four wild horses. This story is especially for English learners. It is easy to understand, engaging, and teaches valuable lessons. The language is simple and straightforward, and the story is easy to follow. So, let's get started. Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Sunridge, there was a wise and kind queen named Mariana. She ruled her kingdom with grace and wisdom. Her people loved her because she was kind and a strong leader. Queen Mariana loved horses and had a stable full of beautiful breeds. Among them were four wild horses that nobody could train. Many skilled horsemen and trainers tried to tame them but failed. They often got hurt in the process. The queen wanted to find someone who could conquer these unruly horses. So, she announced a big reward for the person who could successfully train them. The news of the queen's challenge reached a small town called Springwell. A young man named Adam lived there. Adam had a special talent for understanding horses. When he heard about Queen Mariana's challenge, he felt confident that he could train those horses. The queen heard about Adam's claim and called him to the palace. Adam stood before the queen and repeated his confident statement that he could train the wild horses. The queen, willing to give him a chance, agreed to his conditions and gave him the horses to train. Weeks turned into months. People in the town, including the queen, thought that Adam had failed like the others and had given up on the horses. But one sunny afternoon, the queen heard the sound of hooves approaching the palace. She rushed to the balcony and saw an amazing sight. Adam was riding one horse, and the other three horses were following him. The once wild horses were now marching together. The queen was surprised but very happy to see this. Everyone else had failed, but this young man had succeeded in training them. Overjoyed, the queen asked Adam to explain how he did it. He said, Your Majesty, these horses were indeed wild, just as everyone said. But instead of trying to control them right away, I decided to get to know them first. I spent time watching them and copying what they were doing. Adam explained how he spent hours observing the horses in their natural state. He imitated their actions. When they ran, he ran. When they sat, he sat. When they slept, he slept. And when they ate, he ate. This way, Adam built a friendship with the horses. Unlike the others who tried to control them from the start, he focused on creating a bond. With patience and perseverance, the horses started seeing Adam as one of their own. Adam continued, once we had trust and friendship, I introduced them to saddles. At first, they rejected them angrily, but I stayed patient. I showed them that the saddles were not a threat. Gradually, I introduced other equipment like bridles and reins in a similar way. Eventually, they accepted these tools and understood they were meant to enhance our bond, not restrict them and then I started riding them. That's how I trained all four horses in a few months. The Queen was thrilled and rewarded Adam with many prizes. She also made him the permanent handler of all her horses. This story was like a metaphor for the wild horses of anxiety, anger, jealousy, and greed that exist within us. Our intellect is the trainer, and it's our responsibility to train these horses, so that it remain under our control. But to do that, we must first build a friendship with them. We need to deeply understand each horse to effectively control them. People often struggle because they want to master these aspects immediately without developing a friendship. Let's start with worry. When you're worried, your mind tells you that you have to worry to protect yourself. But worrying doesn't make bad things less likely. It doesn't solve anything, it just makes you suffer. Overcome worry through positive thinking. Find solutions and remember that good times follow difficult ones. Endure hardships patiently until things get better. 
The second horse is anger. When you get angry, people around you might get angry too, making the situation worse. Or they might shut down, and you'll feel unheard. Anger can lead to saying or doing hurtful things and damage relationships. Remember that anger is normal, but learn to deal with it in a healthy way. Take time to cool down, breathe deeply, or step away from the situation. With practice, you can control your anger. The third horse is jealousy. Jealousy arises when you see someone as superior, comparing yourself to others and feeling bad about yourself rob us of our joy and contentment. We're all unique with different abilities, strengths, weaknesses, appearances, and personalities. Instead of comparing, focus on your own gifts and talents. Be proud of who you are and what you have to offer. The fourth horse is greed. Greed is the desire for more than you need or deserve. It can lead to unhappiness and never feeling satisfied. Greedy people always want more, even if they have to be dishonest or unethical. Overcome greed by being content with what you have. Take time each day to appreciate what you're grateful for. This will help you focus on what you have instead of what you don't. By doing this, you can effectively control these four horses of your mind using the power of your intellect. If you found this story helpful, we request you to subscribe to our channel, as this will motivate us to create more such videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.